Well, hello guys, Kraythus here, back with some more on Real World. So today we're doing our advanced fishing tutorial. So my plan here is I took from the basic tutorial and I'm just going to play it for a whole year. And when it comes back to next summer, I will call it complete if I make it that long. But I'll show you guys what I've been working on here. I've been doing pretty well with the old fishing. So mostly using the rod and the net, this is what I've been able to get. Got all kind of leaves here. We've got seven perches, four perch, one pike, four tasty perch, salted perch, perch. <laughs> got perch everywhere, that's mostly what you get. Nine greens, some salted greens. I got, I had to kill a lynx, he was trying to get my uh, meat. But I wouldn't have bothered with him otherwise. One other salted pike. Yeah, we got a little bit of food. We're getting there. Hopefully here in salmon spawning season, we'll be able to catch a bunch more. All right, what is this big old body of water? There's even a bigger one up there. I haven't caught a bream yet. I just want to see if we can find one. One of these big bodies of the water. This looks like the right kind of place. This uh, shallowest mono let me put in there. Let's put it right here on the edge of this, this point here. Oh, God, I've got to uh, take off all my crap. Let's pick that up. Sorry, it won't be anything in it. <laughs> Let's place it. What do we got here? Up to everything it has weight. There we go, I should get us a little better shape. Let's try this again. There we go, some more lake reeds, I mean. Got fishing right now with a old roach. Ah, caught a bite. Woohoo, we'll take that. I kind of suspected this to be a good spot to catch a pike with a bridge. Alright, Nat. Let's see what you can do. Got my fatigue there first. Oh, there we go. I've got all kind of brain. So that's what we need is slack water. Show you what I mean. Anywhere like this, it says that slow flowing water is good for catching that kind of fish. Never tried to fish in one of these, see what happens. See if we can't fish in a swamp hole. <laughs> Seriously, now it'll let me. There are all kind of fish you would expect to have in there. No. <laughs> can't fish in a swamp. Yeah, this looks like a likely spot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, we're well outside of territorial places, so there we go. There's some weeds. Let's put our net right here. It looks like a good spot. Not deep enough. It's probably right at the edge here. Hopefully, there's some fish are still out here. All right, Nat. Let's see what you got for us. Seem to do pretty well over here on in the lake. So maybe that's the secret. We'll see what happens this time. Caught a perch. That's all we caught. That was one perch. All right. This area here looks like it would be a good spot to me. A nice little sheltered bay. There we go. This is actual ocean. See the difference there. If you look, one will say water. And one. See how this one has like a different shade of blue than this one? That's what you're looking for. One fine hat right there. Try some mid sweet, weed sweet, whatever it is. There we go, caught some purchase with them. Crowberries definitely don't seem to be good. They haven't popped in. Try some more crowberries, see what happens. 
I would call it a bunch of roaches. It seems like the roaches like them. Berries, but nothing else. Alright, we're gonna make do a quick fishing right here in this pocket right now. Fire crowberries again, see if we get them. Yeah, see roaches, that's what they seem to like. Here we have our fatigue, and that's tree back in that. Come on, baby. Do bring, wow, way out in the ocean too. Oh, we're starting to learn stuff. Berries for roaches. Leaves seem to work really good to catch perch and bream and stuff like that. Actually, I don't know if that, I haven't caught any bream yet with that, so that's not true. But... We know a lot of fishing here. I found this little shallow water tile here in the middle of the ocean. Oh, it's water, but I'll tell you where I'm at here on the map. It's right at this like inlet to this little bay here. We have a lot of success catching fish right here with that. I just wanted to make sure I share that with you guys. I'm gonna keep putting fish down here. I mean, that's down there. I caught a bream with a trout this time. Last time I waited a little too long, but it was full of fish. They were all right. Plus, I wanted to show you guys. Anytime you see like a cultural area, like this and this and this, fishing and hunting will be worse when you're inside of it. So if you move outside, like all of this area here, it's all good for hunting and fishing because there's nobody else there. Here, you got pressure from other people, the villagers coming out and doing the same thing you are. So just keep that in mind when you're playing the game. Right here in these rocks seem to be really good. I've noticed these areas here that are like, for smaller fish are really good. Anywhere where there's like a, a shelf out in the water. Like I said before, in real life that works a lot too. So this game's pretty close to real life every time. Let's try this pile of rocks over here. I got a roach. Oh, I didn't use my bream. Yeah, let's see. We got plenty of food. Let's take him out in this, the ocean water. See if we can't catch something with a bream. <laughs> catch a gigantic salmon or something with him. Yeah, beat our roasted perch. Got a whole bunch more of them. Got to drop that saw. I'll kill us for uh, penalties on weight. All right, Mr. Bream, can you catch anything for us? Oh, <laughs> I caught 10 Bream with a with another Bream. We'll take it. Should probably uh, sacrifice one of those. There he goes. River spirits have a nice Bream. <laughs> All right, Nat, what do you got for us? Let's get rid of our tea. Fishing, retrieving that. There we go, caught a pike. Yeah, I'm telling you, this spot right here has been working really well. If you see a spot like this out in the deep water, and go for it. Wow. This is this is spot for sure, I'm telling you. You mess around in this area, see if you can't find some good fishing spots. I swear right here on these spots are usually pretty good. See what happens. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Caught a whole bunch of fish. Let's see if we can't catch us a pike or something here. There we go. <laughs> telling you. Anywhere you can see raised up ground, that's where you want to fish at. Oops. Long menu. Wow. <laughs> that spot has been freaking amazing. Screw you, Mr. Lynx. Can't have my fucking fish. I guess we're going Lynx hunting to save our fish. Oh, we might get him easy. Keep him running along this door here. So this is how you hunt. It's a really good way to hunt. Freaking. Trap an animal next to water. Let's take a look at him, see if he's any wore down yet. Going slightly fatigued. Coming for you. 
Very fatigued. Oh yeah, we're going in for the kill. Let's see if I got any spear skill. Oh yeah, we got 40. That should be enough to kill a bobcat. Get over here, dirty cat. Yeah, and the thing is, you see I'm not even running or anything. Where's that at? Yeah, run, walk it. You don't have to run after them. Just walk, walk them down. Alright, uh, we got one point. Let's see if we can hit him in the head. Ah, we got him. Fell right to the ground. Alright, let's see if we can bring him in the skull. Sloppy head, huh? There we go. Yeah, we got ourselves a lynx. So I wasn't planning on doing any hunting, but hey, why not? We'll take it. I had to protect our fish. Just cannot not catch fish there. Just says he's uh, what he is. They spawn in early spring. Oh, that's nice to know. Anytime you guys ever have a problem with this game, Hit F1 and you're right down at the bottom, right here. Space, type in a keyword. If it's in the game, there's usually something about it. It'll tell you how to at least give you hints on how to do things. Let's try salmon. See if I can sell, spell it right here. There we go. Salmon travel to rivers, huh? Salmon hatch in freshwater head streams, spend their juvenile years in rivers and lakes. Upon maturing, they migrate to the sea and return back to rivers to spawn. Yeah, that sounds about right. It is said that salmons return to spawn in the very same river that they originated from. Yep. Yeah. During the salmon migration and spawning, they are caught from rivers and rapids, especially well with a lipo. Salmon migrate from the sea up to the rivers throughout the summer. They do dwell in rivers until the spawning starts late autumn, usually around fall or dirt month. The actual spawning time depends on the water temperature, which needs to be fairly cold for the salmon to start for spawning. So there we go. Hopefully here in the uh, late fall, we'll be able to go and catch a whole bunch of those. What is it now? End of hay month. Got myself some baits here that I want to try out. So I've got a birch bark box of late breed flower. Let's see if we'll let us do that. Make some dough balls. <laughs> hey, look at that. I caught some birches right away. I'm going to try some of these mushrooms here too. I've had success in the past. Look at that. All kind of riches. Wow. See if we can't catch some more stuff with them. Mushrooms and what you want call it? Mushrooms and flower. Let's try a mushroom purse. Nothing there. Try some flower. A lot of birch. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can catch in here. Good old flower. Look at that. Catches a fish about every freaking time. Let's try our mushroom again. Yeah, mushrooms work too. Wow. Mushrooms and bread works great. Well, it's not bread, it's flour. Just make dough balls. Imagine bread would work good too. Maybe we'll have to try that here. Yeah, not flour. Let's make some bread. <laughs> Don't need seasoning, it don't really matter for fishing. Nothing on that one. Alright, I caught a perch off of that one. I think the bread's probably about as good as good as the flower is. Yeah, it's catching the same fish. Alright guys, getting into fall months here. Now according to thing here, 
Unreal Encyclopedia. Salmon should be starting to spawn here soon. Salmon migration and spawning. They are caught from river to rapids, especially with a lipo. Salmon migrate from the sea up the rivers throughout the summer. They dwell in the rivers until the spawning starts in late autumn, usually around fall or dirt mud. So it says the water temperature is a factor. We'll check that out here. So that's all the stuff that I need for that. What I need is cordage, but I can't get that very easily. So I need these seals so I can get that. The rest of this I should be able to get, no problem. I made a needle, 900 feet of yarn. I should have just enough to make one net. Also need to probably grab a whole bunch of nettles more, so maybe I can make some more. Hey look, there's a seal. Maybe they might trap. Yeah, put a bunch of riches in there for them, see if they would go in. Doesn't look like we caught any yet. All right, so they should be spawning. Oh, and larvits too, nice. Ain't having no luck with the old bridge. Oh, we caught one, yay. All right, retrieve that man. No fish. What can I drop? Let's drop that lipo. Alright, I'll call a trout anyway. Better than nothing. What if we park here? Oh, so, just try it right there. Caught a salmon and a larvae. Wow, see, that's what we needed to do then. So standing on the rocks is the key. That definitely worked better. Yeah, we caught some. Right, let's drop everything we're not using. Let's grab one of these. We'll leave a nice sacrifice. All right, spirits, there you go. One nice slurp of it. Fishing all day with that bad boy. Didn't catch nothing that time, huh? Right over here. Yeah, we caught him. I guess you don't necessarily have to get out of the boat. Got these same, they should stay better on the ground. I mean, in the boat, and they will. In here, it is a little warm out. So I'll take that home soon. There we go. One more round of fishing. I'll take these hands and smoke them up. There we go. Fishing all kind of larvits. There's definitely fish here. I can hear them. There we go. Two salmon. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, another one. Oh, we're going to be in good shape for winter if we keep this up. Heck yeah, two more salmon. Salmon's are in good shape yet. Let's try it one more time and we'll run in. Oh, trout. It seems to be what we catch every time. So I think I'm just going to drop the net into the thing for now. Why wear it out? Well, we can catch plenty with our lip, though. Of course, reindeers. How you doing, reindeer? Trying to fish here, guys. Fish right here. Give it a shot. Give it a splash from the glass. Right here, huh? Give it a shot. There we go. Caught a couple of them. I will take larvae since it's good now. They're not as big as salmon, but they were. Catch it right here by him, I'll have to go for it. There must be a whole bunch of them right here. 
Let's get snow. All right, guys, we're gonna call that an end to our advanced fishing tutorial, at least for the uh, summer and fall. So I just want to go over the tips again here real quick. As far as rod fishing goes, what I found works really good for me is any kind of leaves. Nettle leaves work really good. Mint sweet work really good. But I'm fairly positive that most leaves are going to work pretty good. Flour and bread works pretty good. I found the flour actually works a little bit better than bread. Berries work, but the only thing I can catch with them was roaches. So just keep that in mind if you want to use berries. You can also use pieces of meat and stuff like that. Like if you get a reindeer and you want to try to use that, you will catch some fish. But I think the leaves right now and flowers is about the most superior thing you're going to use. Let's go over equipment. So if you're all you really need is a fishing ride, a net. You do want to get yourself a lipo as well so that you can fish for the spawning fish. I just got done fishing for a whole bunch of salmon. I was catching a whole bunch of them using that. So that worked pretty good in the spawning season. The rest of the year, though, just leave it in your cabin because it won't catch anything unless they're spawning fish. As far as your fishing rod, the better quality, all the stuff, the better quality it is, the better it's going to work. But usually, right playing quality is just fine. But I've even used agate nets many times. They work pretty good, too. Like, you just put them in the right spot, which we're going to talk about next. So as far as fishing spots go, I found with the net, in the ocean and in big lakes, it was very effective. I would catch a decent amount of fish. As far as the fishing rod goes, I found that deep water, I didn't catch many fish. But shallow water, that's where the fish were. What you want to look for is areas where there's a point coming out or a raised up area where it's shallow there, but it's deep around that area. That's usually where you catch them out. Another really good spot was in lake reeds. You find lake reeds, you can catch pike, you can catch bream, you can use your spear and have a decent amount of luck, especially if you have good fishing skill. A rod and reel works. You can't put a net in the lake reeds themselves, but if you just come down and then put them in the deeper water, I have to see some of that too. So, I'm going to call that the end of my tutorial there on advanced fishing. I am going to continue with this character until next summer. So, the next tutorial I'll come out is on ice fishing. So, we'll look through and I'll figure out how to catch fish, where to find them, the best way to do it, all that good stuff. And I'll do the same thing with spring. Springtime should be another good opportunity for spawning fish as well. So. Till I see you next time, I hope you guys have lots of fun gaming out there. Goodbye.